We are now just five weeks away from Election Day, so tonight we begin our weekly segment with our political analysts that lead up to and include Election Night. So allow me to reintroduce them to you. We have to my immediate left, your right, uh, former Congressman Mark Souter. He's representing the Republicans. And former City Councilwoman Karen Goldner. She is representing the Democrats. So let's start by talking about the presidential debate tomorrow night. It is the first one. What do you expect will happen during and even after the debates? Let's start with you, Mark. Well, since the polls clearly have President Obama around a three-point lead, depending on the particular poll, uh, it's now up to the challenger to unseat him. Furthermore, that lead has held up for some time, and it's bigger in the swing states. So Mitt Romney can't just kind of go in with a casual, uh, I want to come out neutral. I think he's got to land some blows, or, or he will lose. What do you think President Obama needs to do then? Um, I think that he needs to be presidential. I think he needs to be able to, you know, communicate the empathy he feels for people. And, and uh, I think that, that as, uh, as Mark said, it really is up to Romney. I think it's funny, uh, normally in these things building up to it, all the political people are saying they're trying to undersell their own candidate. Well, you know, he doesn't have to. It's not a big deal. He doesn't have to do anything or whatever. Uh, but the, the number of high-ranking Republicans in the country who have really put the pressure on Romney is funny. Um, because the whole point is to lower expectations, and so then if you do an adequate job, it's good enough. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Now, you mentioned the swing states. Obviously, very important. Ohio is one of them. Uh, how do you think that this will play out in Ohio? These voters you know, may play a major role in how this turns out. Well, in my opinion, uh, Mitt Romney cannot win on just economic issues. The economic issues aren't playing well. He's got the Republicans pretty well lined up who are, agree with him on the taxes and the budget. He's got to go beyond that. Ohio's a good example. It's a blue-collar state. In that state, when Republicans win, they pick up social conservatives, they pick up foreign policy conservatives, because union members, God, guns, and country people, uh, are not going to vote Republican because of economic issues. And so he really needs to push the president to remind the voters multiple times about th his statement that uh, about people who cling to their Bibles and their guns. He needs to talk about the Middle East and how he's blown foreign policy in addition to economic policy and basically try to get under his skin. If he can get under the president's skin, he can maybe win this debate. Otherwise, I don't think he's going to gain Ohio what he needs. Well, and I, I think that the, uh, the, the, the counter argument or whatever for the, the president to remind people about is, of course, you know, which side of the 47 percent are you on? Uh, you know, in, in a way, Romney just needs to go on vacation for another, you know, month and a half, and he probably will end up doing better. The poor guy just seems to put his foot in his mouth whenever he opens it. And so I think that, that it'll be easier for the president to get under Romney's skin than vice versa, although, I, you know, I think Mark is right. That's obviously what you're going to try and do, right? That's, that's the goal of it. What about Indiana? Do we play a role? Uh, Karen, I'll start with you this time. No, um, <laughs> in a word. I mean, I think that, that all the numbers that I've seen is if the president wins Indiana, he will have won so many states that it doesn't matter whether he wins Indiana or not. Um, I, I do think that he is going to do better in Indiana than um, people sort of assume. But you know, all it takes is one vote, and all of your electoral votes go to you know the, the winning candidate. Uh, but I think that the work that the Donnelly campaign, the Gray campaign, are doing, uh, you know, will will get the vote out in Indiana, and, and, and I hope that it'll be enough to be able to, to get those guys over the top, whether the president wins or not. Okay, a final word, Mark. So the president, do you think whoever wins this has to win Ohio? He has to win Ohio because the other states to cover for Ohio and Florida aren't enough for a Republican to make it up. And the margin in Indiana is the only thing that's important. If it's 55, I think Murdoch wins by two to four points. Pence is probably going to run at 55 too. But if it dips to 53, it affects other races. Okay. Thank you once again. We will see you enjoy seeing